my book, The Earned Life, I was given a challenge. Think of the best coaching you ever received, and we're going to look at why was it so good. Well, be interesting. So I came up with several case studies. The first involved one of my old mentors, Dr. Paul Hersey. Now, this story will tell you how I got into leadership development. I, I met Dr. Hersey, and I was a young college professor, and he was the highest paid consultant in our field. And I was smart enough to follow him around and literally serve the coffee and carry bags and try to learn from him. And then I did my best to learn what he was doing and how to do it. And one day he became what was called double booked. He was scheduled to be two places in the same day. And he called me up and said, Marshall, I can't do this. Uh, can you help me? I said, I don't know. He said, I need help. Can you do it? I said, I don't know. He said, I'll pay you $1,000 for a day. I was making $15,000 for a year. You know what I said? Sign me up, coach. I did a program for the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company, and they were very angry when I showed up. Yet I came in first place of all the speakers, and then after a two-week program, they were very happy. Paul called up expecting to really have them be angry at him. They said, well, we were angry, but this guy came in first place. You have him come again. Paul said, do you want to do this again? I said, yes, sir. I'll be happy to do this. I'm making $15,000 a year. You're paying me $1,000 a day. I'll do this again. By the way, that was 44 years ago. I was a 28-year-old kid, and my business experience was pumping gas in Valley Station, Kentucky. This was a lot of money. I said, yes, sir. So I go to work with Paul, and I'm doing a great job, and my clients are happy, and I'm traveling about, and I'm making money. And he called me in one day, and he said, Marshall, Got some feedback. Your clients are happy. You're making a lot of money. In fact, you're making too much money. He said, here's your problem. You're just running around selling day after day after day after day, and you're not becoming the person you could be. You're never going to be who you could be because you're just being who you are. That was such good coaching. And it took me a while for that one to sink in. And then I met Francis Hesselblind and Peter Drucker. They gave me a challenge. You could be more. I worked for American Express. I'll never forget their CEO called me up and he said, you don't need that senior partner. You can do this on yourself. You can be more. Even in high school, I remember. My high school math teacher, when I made bad grades, said, this is ridiculous. You're a smart kid. You can do better. You can be more. Well, I think very important to think about life in two dimensions. One, think about the best coaching that you've got in your life. And I want you to write down three case studies of when someone told you, you can be more. You can be more. And what was the influence that had on you? What was the impact that had on you? Next, I want you to be your own coach. Here's your homework. I want you to imagine you're coaching yourself. And the message you're going to give is you can be more. You can be more. What advice would that wise you who's trying to help you have for you after saying you could be more?